Okay, the next problem we're going to do is the first one involving a square root. So we're going to have x to the 5 halves um, minus 5 over x to the 4th minus the square root of x dx. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is try to simplify this. Um, x to the 5 halves is going to stay the same. We're going to um, uh, eliminate this fraction um, by moving the x to the fourth to the top. The way that we do that is uh, change the sign on the exponent from a positive to a negative. 5x to the negative 4 is the same as 5 over x to the fourth. Um, and then, um, of course, we know rule um, the square root of x is the same as x to the one-half. So we're going to say minus x to the one-half dx to make this easier. So now we can take the integral. Um, x five-halves, um, we of course need to add one, so we're going to say plus, um, plus two over two on the exponent is of course seven-halves, um, and then we need to um, divide uh, 1, which is the coefficient, by the new exponent, 7 halves. Then minus x, add 1 to the exponent, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Um, and then divide the coefficient by the new exponent, 5 over negative 3. And then x, 1 half plus 1. 2 over 2 um, is, of course, 3 over 2. 1 plus 2, 3 over 2. Um, and then 1 is the coefficient that's implied here, divided by the new exponent, which is 3 halves. 1 over 3 halves, and then plus c. So now we have, to, we have our integral, and all we have to do is simplify it. So 1 over 7 halves, um, as we mentioned in the last video, Instead of dividing by a fraction, we can multiply by its inverse. So instead of 1 over 7 halves, that's the same thing as 1 times the inverse of the fraction, 2 over 7. 1 times 2 over 7 is 2 over 7. So 2 sevenths x to the 7 halves. Um, we have a negative here on the bottom. So uh, a negative times a negative 5 thirds is going to be a positive. So plus 5 thirds, um, and then x to the negative 3, we, want, we never want to have a negative exponent in our answer, so um, we are going to move the x to the bottom and change the sign on the exponent. So instead of uh, x to the negative third, to the negative 3 in the numerator, we're going to have x to the positive 3 in the denominator. So 5 over 3x to the third, and then 1 over 3 halves, instead of 1 divided by 3 halves, we're going to do 1 times the inverse, 2 thirds, which of course is 2 thirds, so minus 2 thirds x to the 3 halves plus c. And that's our answer.